so this is another example of an example on um, data structure whatever they call it data uh, array or algorithm and whatever something on on the software programming this is also part of the uh, FE exam uh, sometimes they give you a long problem like this and then f ask you to, to find the uh, you know the number after the program is executed um, so we don't have a lot of space here uh, but we'll try to make it happen let me get a yellow pen let me change it today to red play with colors a little bit all right so here we have what do we have here uh, we have the numbers are red in a file and then they tell you that X is going to be equal to whatever we read in the file. So X would be, so we got X options for X would be these values over here, minus 3, 5, and 2. Because that's what they say here, right? So minus 5, so this is the, the known. So you always want to start with the known and the unknown. So minus 3, uh, we got 5, 2, uh, minus six. I don't like the red. Minus one and three. So these are your options for for x. Correct. So your initial value for i is one. First of all, the question is asking you for the final value of z. That's what it is. So you know what they ask you. So i is equal to one and y is equal to zero. So while i is less than or equal 3. So your options for i is either going to be 1, 2, or 3. Let me change this color. I don't like it. So that's a, a 1, 2, or 3 because i is less than or equal to 3. So read a value from the file and set that to x. So if x is equal to less than 0, go to 1. This is 1. So let's start with x. So x is minus 3. Of course, minus 3 is, let me let me come over here. So minus 3 is less than 0, of course. Therefore, let's go to 1. And 1 tells me that I is initial i which is 1 plus 1 so i i is equal to 1 plus 1 and i have equals 2 all right i don't have a value for y yet so let's go back and choose another value for x so if x is equal to 5 so this is x equals minus 3. So if x is equal to 5, if x equals 5, x 5 is not less than 0. So instead of going to 1, because this condition is not met, I will go to y. So here I have y is equal to y plus x times x. So what's y? In this case, y is the initial value. We haven't solved anything for y. So that'll be 0 plus x times x. So right now, we have x is 5 times 5. So that'll be 25. So we have y is equal to 25. OK? So I'm still here because um, I is still um, I'm still incrementing uh, to y to I is 1, 2, 3 okay so y is equal to 25 I'm not done yet right so for so while um, so I'm over here saying that while i is less than 1 I've already solved that 
that's over here while i is less than i mean while i is equal to two i'm over here so now the third um the third condition while i is equal to three i have my x i hope i'm not confusing you so x is equal to two i'm over here okay Uh, 2 is not less than 0 so else this is what I'm going to solve so y y is going to be y plus um, x times x so y my latest value for y is 25 plus 2 times 2 that's 4 so I have 29 so I have to do this while I is less than um, 3 times basically that's that's how many times I gotta do it because it's only 3 times that um, I is less than or equal to 3 because if it was the fourth time then I would not be meeting the while condition over here okay so now my final result would be z would be equal to 29 which is y that's my latest value of y and then you have to increment i the next value of i right so i is 3 plus 1 that's 4 so don't divide by 3 divide by 4 because you got to increment the value of, of i so that's 29 um, over 4 and 29 over 4 that's 7.3 so your answer is is A okay I could totally see students actually um, dividing by 3 here and your answer is going to be on the test so you got to be careful here you got to think about it you got to increment the value of I before you can divide it for your end result so here your final answer is 29 over 3, I mean 29 over 4, excuse me, 29 over 4, so your final answer is 7.3.